Sir Ludolf's lust knows no bounds. Still, however pressed, but his lordship, he employed his usual. Poor old Gregor, that's the sort of man that... As I've said, my husband has left to slay a Dullahan at the Ildua's resting place. I can't tell you when he'll return. Oh, Sir Ludolf, you say? As I recall, his visit started. Why are you asking me about him? Does this have aught to do with my husband? What? Sir Arisen, I beg of you. You will be repaid. I just please save him. Oh, thank goodness. Pray, let us make haste that no life may be lost on our account.
confidence and cooperation gave us an edge against... I can hardly believe it. I fought a Dullahan and shall live to tell the tale. But, fie, I've just remembered. See, I hadn't thought I'd return alive. But I didn't want to worry my wife when I departed. So I took a letter with me just would be an awkward thing for her to... Re Though I dare say she'd forgive. Right, I'd be... Oh, and if I've not said it yet... Over here, if you would. Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. I, you've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. But I suppose it is not so surprising. A dastly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. <laughs> 